Hey everyone, let's take a deep look at the gases around M81, M82, and NGC 3077. Welcome to SETI Astro. I took approximately 16 hours of RGB data. Here's the red, green, and blue channels combining into a very nice RGB image of M81 and M82 and NGC 3077 down here on the right. But that's really not what was interesting me. I had seen images with a red hydrogen cap over here on the Cigar Galaxy, and I really wanted to take a deeper exposure of the entire area in both hydrogen and oxygen. Looking at just the hydrogen image, I have approximately 12 hours of hydrogen data and 12 hours of oxygen data. You can see the outburst of M82 clearly and what could be this uh, cap structure up here along with a lot of gas structure within M81, a little structure down here and some uh, structures here within NGC 3077. When you continuum subtract the data, you'd really see all the gas now present. Here's that cap along with this outflow that extends all the way up to it. Some more detail around that structure. And interestingly, on NGC 3077, there is a very large oval shape here that extends far below it that I have not seen in other images before. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Here's 12 hours of the oxygen data. That large extended structures are not seen in oxygen, but there are some very bright points here in the galaxy itself. Continuum subtracting for oxygen does really reveal those bright points as oxygen structures. Along with some outflow here in M82, even along the structure of the galaxy itself. And that does make sense. There is a ton of very hot, bright stars in the galaxy, which would lend to the core itself essentially extending the entire length of the galaxy. And down at NGC 3077, you can see structure here within the galaxy in oxygen as well. Combining the continuum subtracted data in a 4x palette, you could really start to see the structure beautifully with the hydrogen reaching up to that cap and all this additional hydrogen structure surrounding M82. For M81, the entire galaxy has gas and structure throughout it. Some of those bright blue points from the oxygen, orange spots where the oxygen and hydrogen are overlapping in nebula, and again the structure down here which turns out to be HO 1x 9 and 10 and now down here on NGC 3077 we can really see the gas structure here's the core of the galaxy and in RGB you could really only see the halo up here around but now you can see this huge extended hydrogen structure that loops all the way down and around Combining the RGB and continuum subtracted data really enhances the image. Now we have M82 with the giant starburst coming out of it, the cap, all that nebulosity here in M81 itself, and further down here in NGC 3077 where you can see the RGB data is really just this oval and all that other extended structure we was revealed by continuum subtracting that hydrogen data. The stars, I did process the narrowband stars in a 4X palette, specifically because I noticed some structure was removed during the star removal process from M81, and I did want that back in. So all these little dots belong to M81. So on the final image, these will be put back in to M81. Here we are, the final image, 
M81-82 and NGC-3077 with that deep exposure of all the gases, including the stars. M82 with its beautiful outburst. M81, it almost looks like a ton of Christmas lights hanging throughout the entire galaxy. The HO object. And NGC 3077 now with its own small nebula structures put back in. Go an annotated version. For M82, there's really not a whole lot in the catalog, even though there's all this extended structure around it. I do find that pretty interesting. M81, I actually had to pare back how much structure was trying to be identified in this image. Uh, there is just a lot of catalog emission throughout the entire galaxy. And we could really zoom in and really see a lot of these are detailed in the catalog structure. So if you really want to go down the rabbit hole one day, there is an immense amount of reading in the scientific literature on M81. Just below it, we said were these HOIX objects. And I did find an amazing paper on them. I'll have a link in the description below if you would like to read that piece of literature. And down here, NGC 3077, some of the structure in that bottom extended loop is identified as Garland 3, 4, 6, 8, 5, and 1, but the whole other half of it over here uh, didn't have anything identified with it. So this entire loop structure may be uh, something new that we haven't been seeing. There's also a ton of galaxies throughout the image. And I did notice uh, PGC 28848 did have uh, narrowband data associated with it, uh, which I found pretty interesting, which helped enhance its image as well. I have updated Astrobin with my deep gases around M81 and 82. We have the final image along with just the continuum subtract data. And I also have the annotated version uploaded as well. I have the acquisition details, what comprised the 40 hours of exposure, a brief write-up and a link to the paper on HOIX 9 and 10, and then some very nice close and crops of M82 and some of the continuum subtracted data. I've also updated my website, SETIastro.com, to include the deep gases around M81 and 82 with a full image and some close and crops, write up, link to Astrobin, the continuum subtracted data, and annotated versions. I hope you liked this video and saw some structures you haven't seen before. Please comment, like, and subscribe.